Hey guys, welcome to the channel, it's me XR Hammer, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to build the explosive trap on Dungeon Defenders 2. Okay, so let's take a look at the explosive trap. Okay, now this is just box standard, there's nothing on this Huntress, there's no ascension pitted into her. Okay, so box standard uh, explosive trap, and as you can see, the recharge rate is really, really, really low, right? Two and a half seconds. It's, um, yeah, it's very slow, right? So that, and on top, it doesn't have many charges, okay? Just naturally. It's only got 50, right? But this has had absolutely nothing done to it, right? And the crit chance, crit damage is the same. And the damage radius, I mean, it's not amazing, but it's okay, right? <laughs> so what? I would do personally aside from getting something like this on it right a medallion or something is in the ascension right you want to max out your speed now the joy with this well with the explosive trap okay so all we've done is put that speed on it's brought it down to 1.63 seconds okay which is pretty good right and then, let me go over to this one, because this is where all of my stuff is. <laughs> uh, there we go, right. Yes, what you can do, um, once I go and find this relic, where did it go? Is it that one? It is that one, right. <laughs> so, right, this has got defense rate on it for the medallion, just as it is, right? That's brought it to 0.99, right? Now, it caps out at 0.63, so... And as you can see, this is only a tier 3 defense rate. Okay, and this is the joy of the explosive trap. Once you throw just a basic defense rate, so it's just, you know, it's not gilded, it brings that attack rate all the way down. And the DPS has shot up a lot, right? And speed in this game is a must, in my opinion, right? Because as you can see now, nothing else has changed, apart from the fact that, you know, it's got this scary relic on it but yeah i mean the defense rate is king right in my opinion it really is king so back into the ascension right so your first 20 points because it's a damaging tower straight into speed okay now this is where it differs for the person because with a normal medallion on you get your defense power you also get a bit of defense health and as you can see that shoots it up to 1360 charges right which in all fairness every time you upgrade it they reset right so yeah you shouldn't really need to put any more in health but if you find that they're running out and the traps disappearing then by all means you know put a few into your charge right and yeah it's it's just better overall right but i don't feel personally as if i'd run out of charges so i would just put everything into the damage right now the rarity <laughs> right i do not go into range gambit on the explosive trap because for me personally it's pointless right now i'll go over that a bit more later but i never go into the range gambit right now as you can see it's <laughs> it's getting there, right? 414,000 damage, which is not bad, right? Now, also, I will add the other servos I have, the proactive traps, right? Now, this is greatly looked over, right? Because this increases the defense power per detonation by, this is only a tier eight, 174 defense power up to 100 times. Right now, it might not sound like a lot, but when it gets ramped all the way up, it does some work. Right, it really does do some work. Now, because I don't go into range gambit, I also do not use deadly strikes on it. Right, because it's it's counterproductive. I do use fire for effect. Okay, it's a, a chaos five shard. And it gives it a 45% chance to detonate twice without consuming an additional charge, right? So, 45% chance, yeah. I mean, I'm not overly a fan of chance, but it seems to work better for me, 
right, and a destruction, right. This is where I normally run it, and as you can see, it's 555k attack damage and 1.02 million DPS, right. And a really good thing, another really good thing, right, about the explosive trap is when you upgrade it, it scales really well. Right, because that's just shot up to 2.05 mil, and again, you do that 3 mil, another one when the game catches up, <laughs> 4 mil, and then maxed out, it's 5.11 mil. Right, so it scales really, really, really well, and yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. I mean, the fire for effect, if you have it, you could probably swap it out for mass destruction as well as destruction or you could even go vampiric but vampiric you really don't get a lot from <laughs> this defense it's pretty pointless to be honest with you all right so yeah for me personally i always run rate because you need to get that attack speed down um fire for effect is amazing on it destructions a given and also i run anti-melee on it the defense rate's just on there because it came on it <laughs> so and i just haven't changed it yet but as this thing can only hit melee troops anti-melee seemed to uh make sense on it right so now that we've gone through the ascension and the shards the mods what i'm going to do is take it into a match and i will see you all in there so my dudes right we're in here i've literally just thrown a few blockades down because yeah i feel as though the explosive traps albeit they are very 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 good you kind of need a backup right and blockades uh yeah just amazing right now what i was talking about earlier with the defense range okay so let's say i put this on right and it's a chaos 7 perfect defense range okay and let's say i take off these two and i put on a gilded deadly strikes okay and a vicious strikes right so all the range now as you can see that is huge right and i've still not pitted into range gambit but the attack speed is awful <laughs> and yeah it's still not maxed out now for me it's just not worth it yes the range is really nice yeah 950 damage radius but for the lack of attack speed you can get out of it and the damage because your damage goes down a lot it's really not worth it okay <laughs> so yeah because i touched on that earlier the range is just pretty pointless right in my opinion i mean if it works for you then it works for you but for me I wouldn't do it. <laughs> so, fire for effect, defense rate, destruction, as you can see on there. We'll go over the ascension again, defense speed. Now, on this one, I have got 20 points pitted into here, right? Now, <laughs> this was when I first started using them and they were running out, <clears throat> okay? But they're not now. So, yeah, I just can't be bothered to reset it. <laughs> if I'm completely honest, but again, look, no range gambit. So, right, we've got the blockades down. Now, I do like using them with this boost aura, okay, solely for boosted grasp because it slows everyone down, right? <laughs> that is honestly the only reason. But the good thing about this is you can put it like this, right? So, we'll just go and throw boost auras on the lanes and then we will get down to the explosive traps right now i might build these two lanes differently i'm not sure yet right <laughs> or a few of these lanes differently just for the sakes of showing off what the explosive trap can do but now that the uh, boost door is down what i like doing is just placing as many of these explosive traps as i can they only cost 20 du as well so you literally can just spam them Right, but you want to keep it quite quite tight, quite close in, because the enemies tend not to uh, spread out so much. Right, so we'll go with five on this one, and then we'll do five over here, and so on and so forth. Right, I think you should get the gist. 
I hope. Right, uh, come on, come on. There we go. Right, now, if you are using a deadly strikes or vicious strikes or something to increase the range on it, shard-wise, it was pointed out to me by a good buddy of mine that you can take it off and then place your defences down and then put it back on again. And it counts... Yeah, it's it's a little bit cheaty, but if it works and you can exploit it, then why on earth not? <laughs> is my, you know, opinion on that. Um, so yeah, you can do that just if you need to. Now, we are running out of DU pretty quickly here. So what I'm going to do, bearing in mind as well, right, that you would never normally just use one defense right you'd never just try and put explosive traps down flame aura is probably the exception right but <laughs> hopefully that works what i need to do now is just throw down some sky guards and then we will just have a look how it does uh like this dude isn't it yes all right that way and then i'll throw one uh up here and one for this hello Ah, <laughs> I've never fallen down there before. It caught me off guard a little bit. Right, one of my... Ooh, and we still got room for one more. All right, so... Uh, can I get one in here, maybe? Uh, come on, is it going to count? Yeah, it got boosted. Right, so... Let's have a chuckle. All right, we'll start it up. This is probably going to go very, very, very wrong. But... There's no arm in trying, right? But... Yeah, as you can see... Right? Now, obviously, I would not normally just put the uh, explosive traps there but it's doing the work right and as you can see we are on chaos 7 right forest crossroads uh, those dudes are getting taken out as well and yeah these things are doing work right and the fact that they've got fire for effect on means they could be hitting twice i mean i <laughs> you know it's got a 45 percent chance to hit twice which is fantastic and yeah as you get Lady Orcs then, and also with the uh, boosted grasp on the boost aura, it's keeping them all nice and slow once they get in there. So here we go, look, Lady Orcs moving a lot slower, they're getting hit by all of them. Jobs are good, then, right? Now, this is actually working a lot better than I thought it would. So what I'm going to do is uh, let the waves finish up. There we go, and we'll find the boss lane, which normally this one to be fair and uh we'll see nope not that one man we'll go this one uh siege roller right so there's no point carrying on because they don't do anything to the siege roller where's betsy there she is <laughs> lovely betsy right so yeah guys you get the point explosive traps they work right and they're very overlooked they're not used enough in my opinion so yeah guys that is how to build the explosive trap I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace out, guys.